guys, I'm here with Tim Sargent of Chris USA. Take a closer look at the newest product to enter the fray in Chris's extended magazine library. We're finally getting the extended 10 millimeter magazine. Hell yes. The only complaint I had about the 10 millimeter vector was it was limited to 15 rounds. And I got, no nothing, I got nothing to complain about anymore. So right. why don't you run us down some of the development process that went into this and, uh, and you know, what was the, the impetus behind finally biting the bullet and, and, and offering the 10 millimeter extended magazine? Well, I'm sure you'll find something to complain about, Jim. Sure, but, it's my job. Um, basically, we already had the MAG-X for the 45 ACP. It was designed a while ago, so we knew we needed to extend the capacity for the 10 millimeter users out there. And so we had to come up with a system for our 10 millimeter sure. you know, to kind of pair with our 45. So that was the impetus behind it. You know, we obviously make the 10 millimeter vector. The 15 round magazine was a limitation as, sure. you, as you pointed out. So, you know, coming up with an extended base plate that's very similar to our Mag X and 45, just works for 10 mil, um, was the next logical step. I, we know guys that were really gung-ho about 10 mil were modifying sure. our system for the 45s to fit their 10 mil mag. So we figured uh, an out-of-the-box solution would save them that hassle. Absolutely, and I know some of the uh, the, the non-OEM extension like base plates, mm -hmm. they kind of work, yeah. but they're never like great. Yeah. And I know from experience trying to modify an existing 45 mag right. into a 10 millimeter right. does not work at all. It yeah. expands the hell out of the feed lips so quickly that yeah. it just kind of ruins it in no time. Because yeah. um, like I said, I've, I really like that system, especially with a pistol and a pistol brace. Mm -hmm. It makes an excellent home defense weapon and also for the fact that if you want to hunt or even be in an area with bears, 10 millimeter out of that eight inch barrel, I believe it's eight inch, right? Um, for our, our pistol? pistol version, six and a half inch. Six and a half inch. Yeah still generates a tremendous amount of terminal ballistics, ter or rather uh, ballistic energy, mm -hmm. and those terminal ballistics are phenomenal on that round. So you can really put that threat down if you need to. It's actually, it's really, really neat. But what's really cool is they didn't just limit the development of these new extended magazines to the 10 millimeter. You guys also did it in nine, and uh, 45 will be coming out soon too, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we have the same, so what we're looking at here is essentially a factory Glock magazine and our nice. extended base plate. Our extended base plate adds it gives you a 40 round capacity on a 9mm G17 nice. magazine. And when the 45 ACP comes out, it'll be 30 rounds. Very cool. Yeah. I, think, I think the 10mm especially is going to really expand the pistol caliber carbine market oh, yeah. to use more 10mm rounds because you know, right now there's not really a good 10mm magazine that has a decent capacity outside of a Glock magazine. So if you wanted to build a brand new system around it, you have to make your own magazine, which is a mm -hmm. huge R&D hurdle for the majority of these companies. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. You know, it's a small product, it's really simple, but you know, having to test it out and work in the vector, work in a Glock, sure. and work in the other stuff, it's it's a long process. I mean, ar arguably the most critical component to reliability in a magazine-fed system is the magazine, the magazine itself. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, awesome, Tim. Thank you so much. Very excited to give this thing a spin and. Of course, stay tuned for continued coverage of SHOT Show 2019 for the latest and the greatest from the trade show. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more burst reviews.